Beaten to death for just 10 bucks. New information today about the death of a Milwaukee man Easter Sunday. Fox 6's Derrico Williams is live downtown with shocking details about the relationship between the victim and the suspects who appeared in court just a short time ago. Derrico. That's right, guys. Some very shocking details. Turns out that the victims and the suspects were more than just known to each other. According to the criminal complaint, the victim was actually hugging one of the suspects shortly before he was killed. Back to back, both Dexter Broughton and Leroy Rushing made their initial appearances Friday afternoon in the Milwaukee courtroom for the beating death of Curtis Scott. Sir, the complaint charges you with one count of first degree reckless homicide, party to a crime, use of a dangerous weapon as a class B felony, and if you would be convicted, you could uh, be sentenced to imprisonment. Um, not to exceed 65 years total. Judicial Court Commissioner Julia Vosper issued the pair a $300,000 cash bail. A criminal complaint alleges the two were longtime friends with the victim and attacked him after reuniting Sunday afternoon. The dispute happened after they made plans to go to the liquor store. According to the report, Broughton says Rushing gave Scott $10 to go in and buy something to drink. Another testimony indicates Scott asked Rushing for a ride and he would give him $10 for beer. Either way, things went bad when they got near Scott's home. As they pulled into the alley, Rushing asked Scott to give him $10 back. And Scott told Rushing he didn't have it and an argument ensued. Witnesses claim they saw Broughton holding Scott by his neck and pinning him against the garage. Garage and rummaging through his pockets. At that point, Rushing went into the Cadillac and pulled out a full-sized baseball bat. Rushing then approached the victim, swung the baseball bat, striking the victim in his head. Left battered beyond belief, a witness called 911, but Scott eventually succumbed to his injuries. The family is thankful these two men are now being held responsible. I want to see justice served, exact justice, because they took someone special. They took someone special they, for no reason. Well, Rushing said he had the baseball bat because he was a victim of a robbery and he's been carrying it ever since. He also said that he and Broughton claimed that they never touched the victim nor hit anybody with the bat. They're both due back in court on April 15th for a preliminary hearing. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Derricka Williams, Fox 6 News. Like you right. said.